Good hey. morning, guys. Good morning. Sorry about that. I keep saying <laughs> hey, guys. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to CNC Life. And today, we're at Missy and Brian's house. Well, I mean, it's not really their house any, the anymore. The final day, I think. What? This is our last it's day. It's kind of like the final day. But we're here because Carlos is going to help them do something with some concrete. That's why he's got his yellow glasses on. Not regular. My yellow glasses? I, yeah. These are my regular glasses. Those I are wear not. Glasses. These are my glasses before I got surgery. Boom. <laughs> um, yeah, we're up here because we're going to help out do a little something. But today's a really busy day for me because I have a doctor appointment later. But we'll talk about that later. But we are going to be helping out right now with the concrete in the front with all of our handprints in the flagpole. All right. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button for us and let's go and get started with our day. Before we leave, should we give them a house tour of the house? Should we give them a house tour? The house is absolutely empty. I'll show you guys a little bit of it right now. Yeah. Hold on. I think I see a child. Oh, you got me. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Um, I was going to tell the people about what you say about my belly every time you see me. What do you say? Your belly's huge. <laughs> my belly is huge. The kids are starting to really notice. But you felt Jackson kick a couple times, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Only one time. Just one time. He doesn't like to kick for anybody. <laughs> Maybe he should sleep over and then he can feel him kick on. Yeah, him. if you want to wake up at <laughs> 3 in the morning, that's when he kicks the most. Empty room number one. It's crazy because I'm like looking back now at how many videos I've done in Missy and Brian's house here. And I can't believe they're actually moving. This is Ollie's room. Here's the bathroom that nobody ever used because it was used as storage. <laughs> and Brian's office, which is super echoey. It feels like really, I feel like we could like actually like sing in here. It's so echoey. Oh, and out here, this is what we're doing today. Ugh. Carlos and my dad are gonna help take this out because this is memories. You guys can't see it that well, but look, that's my handprint when I was little, little. It's so cute. And we got Missy's handprint, Jimmy's handprint, my cousin Katie, and then we got the boys over here and Missy and Brian. Wow, I just came over here and Carlos and my dad went hard. Look at you. He got the yeah. jackhammer and everything. <laughs> this was like an all day project. Our day has just been yeah, basically just, this now. When I cut it with the blade, I didn't know there was a big chunk of rock under there. <laughs> and it's, the blade only goes four inches in, so. Yeah, but it looks good now. Ready for transport. Oh man, I just got home to my babies and it was not a pleasant experience for this one. <laughs> he ended up peeing in the crate. We weren't even gone that long, but he peed in the crate. So I had to clean it just now and I'm exhausted. But I thought I'd tell you guys how my ultrasound went or my not my ultrasound, how my doctor appointment went. It was not an ultrasound, very sad about that. I would really hope that we get an ultrasound out of it. Um, it was a very disappointing doctor appointment. I will go into it more in depth um, on my bump date, or at least I did go in more depth on my bump date. So you guys will have to go watch that because that's probably already up. But it was very disappointing. I do not feel very attentive to at all and it just felt very dismissive and like, this doctor did not know who I was or anything about my situation or the baby. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's okay. Obviously I know the baby's doing good and I just want mostly, I mostly wanted to get an ultrasound just to check on his weight gain and how much he weighed, but they'll just have to wait till an ultrasound that we have in two weeks. So it's okay. This doctor just seemed like she didn't know anything about me. She thought that we were still like dealing with the short nasal bone, which was like almost two months ago now. So a little disappointing. We're almost at the home stretch of this pregnancy. And then, you know, I think a lot of this pregnancy is just gonna be learning from it and going, moving forward in my next pregnancy, I'm gonna do things a lot differently probably, but this is what I am at right now. Yeah, make sure you guys go watch my bump date for more information. It was okay. Really wanted to see my cute little baby though, cause he's been getting so strong lately. I feel like his kicks have gotten so much harder over the past week and so much more movement, like intense movement of the belly, but I can never get it on camera because this little man in here is stubborn, guys. He's stubborn, he doesn't wanna do anything for the camera, I feel like. <sighs> Such a long day today though, I'm exhausted. And I know Carlos and I are both hungry, so we're gonna find some food to eat so that we can just relax and chill for the rest of the night. A long day calls for a yummy, spoiled dinner. We don't normally eat this kind of stuff, but we're eating it today. Yeah, we were supposed to go grocery shopping today, but we ended up helping uh, Miss, I ended up helping her dad longer than I thought because yeah. we kept having to run back to Home Depot to rent different tools. Yep, 
And I spoiled myself. I got chicken fettuccine alfredo, which I never get because it's like super bad for you. And I love it so much. Carlos got the, what is it, like the Hawaiian pizza, right? It's um, something Hawaiian, but mm -hmm. I added mushrooms. And since the dogs got gypped today too, I went all out for their dinner. Look at this. Here's Cece's dinner. Looking nasty. Okay, I put wet dog food. I gave them some yummy stuff. I put bone broth in there. Look at this. They're a bunch of... You put an egg in there too, right? Yeah, I put an egg in there. I put their vitamins. They both get so happy when we go all out. And then I mix it with warm water. Because Cece won't refuse to eat it if we don't put warm water. Yeah, if we put don't put warm water, Cece doesn't really eat her food as much. But I wanted to spoil everybody because I know everybody got gypped today. Now we all can just eat in peace. Let's see if this is any good though. Mmm! Oh my gosh, that's so good. We're gonna eat dinner. Oh my gosh, guys. I found the best lotion for my belly right now. This is like a coconut lotion with coconut oil and it feels amazing. It's super like light too. It's my favorite right now for my belly. And hashtag not sponsored. She's not doing it sponsored. because she actually likes it. I only found it at uh, a Barron's, which I don't know if everyone has Barron's. And but... I'm not allowed to use it. No, because it's mine and it's for my belly. <laughs> and I love it. It's super light and like super effective. But anyways, guys, I think we're going to end this vlog. Look at Carlos in the robe I got him. Do you still like it? I wear it every day. You cause... wear it every day? Yes, I wear this every day after I shower. And I wear my robe every day now because Carlos wears his robe. So now I have to wear the <laughs> robe that he got me. I got this from her last year. <laughs> she wore it here and there. But now that I wear mine, she's like, I'm going to wear mine too. Yeah, I wear my oh, robe okay. too. <laughs> should have bought myself one last year too. That way she would have wore hers too. Yeah, that would have probably solved it. Anyways, guys, I think that's it for today's vlog. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. I'm so exhausted. My body hurts. No, I don't know why you're tired. It's only nine. I know. I'm freaking exhausted. I'm really I'm just ready for bed, okay? It's always bedtime here. For you, not for me. For me. Anyways, guys, so we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.